All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cause Streams TV. As always, I will be your host. I am Cause, and this week it was a great week to really start the season. Like I said, I truly believe that when the Mythic Plus season opens is when the season really starts. But regardless, we are done week two of the season, and with that, we actually get the first Mythic Plus vaults, and we're going to talk about a few other things because this week we accomplished to get ahead of the curve for Queen Anseric and our 2K I on one of our characters so that's what we're going to talk about today and we're just going to jump directly into talking about these things first we're just going to jump in and talk about my main which is my death knight as always death knight continues to feel amazing i've had to do some work with kind of fine tuning uh my play style and working on my fps actually it's kind of funny i usually have a three monitor setup well because i have such bad fps in the game i disconnected one monitor i got about 10 fps back so instead of 19 fps on some of the raid bosses i got 29 now so hey third monitor does make a difference a little bit it never has before but i've noticed just this expansion and all these weak ores and all these add-ons it just it just absolutely guts my frames and we talked about that last week a little so check out that video if you're curious about what i said then but let's jump into the death knight so last week on the death knight we ended the week at 599.25 item level we needed 600 to get into the raid which we had wasn't a problem there because i had that belt so i got to like 600.25 something like that but over the course of the week i mean we did a whole bunch of mythic plus and i mean we did a lot i think i did 24 keys in total over the course of the week we did the normal and heroic raid and then we also just flew around doing some of the other world quests and campaign stuff that we needed to do so that's what we done on the death knight his item level now went up from uh, from 599.25 to 610.56 now last week something i didn't show you guys is what i actually took out of my vault because i said i was going to wait till raid and i'm really glad i did wait till raid so the reason i'm glad i waited is if you guys remember i had the uh sh heroic shoulders and heroic chest piece in my vault from last week right and i said i'm gonna wait until we actually do raid because i think i already had no i had the shoulders that i could catalyze so we went into the normal raid out of normal i got two items i got the normal headpiece so that gave me my first tier piece and then at the end of that night i actually got the normal curio and because i could catalyze the shoulders and pull the chest out of my vault i ended up getting four piece in week one or sorry week two of the war within so overall we got our headpiece from normal we used the curio to get the hands i got the legs later that week because we got two kio so you get one of the tokens so i went and got the legs on hero track and then we also we took the chest out of our vault which is hero track and then we all and then we catalyzed the shoulder so all that combined gave us our four piece now outside of that our gear collection has been rather abysmal we got a back piece that was about the extent of my mythic plus runs really really poor drops from mythic plus for 24 keys having that little drops is kind of abysmal and then the other thing that we did do is we crafted our great belt at 619 using the free gilded crest you get from doing the queen answer x story mode i'm going to talk about that because i had a little bit of a problem because that quest wasn't available to me so i ended up crafting my great belt at 619 with an embellishment one of the embellishments i need so the dk currently finishes off the week at 610 point five six that's what we're going week three with and i'm really excited about that the dk feels great in keys uh some of the higher keys it's still very painful i'm a little worried going into this week because it's fortified and i'm like honestly just some of the non-fortified trash was hitting so incredibly hard a uh, great example stone vault that first pull on an eight i decided to just run in i ran in and i was gonna pull all three packs and i instantly died and then i tried that again later on a nine what i did is grab the first three and kite into the next two packs that worked a little better because i got my mitigation up right but i'm just really concerned that some of those packs hit so hard that it's going to purgatory me almost instantly so i'm really hoping a little more gear is going to help with that i'm not going to really talk about how we did in mythic plus or any of that just because i think it's i might separate that into separate videos because there's so many things happening in mythic plus right now it changes there's still there needs to be a ton of tuning so that may be in a separate video in the future however let's quickly just jump in and take a look at what we actually got for completed keys last week uh we like i said we've got our ksm so we've got keystone master we are at 2043 io which is really good for week one in, in regards to keys that we managed to time and finish we do have a seven necrotic weight we have a seven arakara we have a seven dawnbreaker we have an eight overtime mist it wasn't too bad uh, it got a little sloppy during the second boss we have a seven stone vault i actually have a nine stone vault failed it didn't give me i have a nine and an eight fail, like completely depleted well over 45 minutes in those keys so i don't have that as a higher key and this is a depleted seven we have a six city of threads we have a six crematola i actually tried this key on a four and then i went to a six the last boss is i really hope they fixed some of the tentacles it is just absolutely chaos on the screen and it's really hard to see where you are and the orbs are and the tentacles are and it's just i don't know i think that boss needs a little 
bit of fine tuning. And then we also have a six Siege of Morales. I also had an eight in this. We spent an hour and 20 minutes in this Siege of Morales. It was one of the most painful things ever. Uh, however, I did see hot fixes for this week, Tuesday, September 24th. And it does say that the slam on the Demolishing Terror no longer knocks players back. That is a quality of life change that that dungeon needed. So the Blast Blast shouldn't be as painful, making Siege of Morales a little more manageable, in my opinion. So that's how we're looking at overall in the Mythic Plus week. I ran a lot more than just these keys. These are just the ones that you see on my scoreboard. And so after taking a look at all those things, let's now jump into opening the Vault on the Death Knight. I'm excited for this. We're going to have three Heroic Raid slots and three Mythic slots. None of them are at a 10 because I didn't get a 10 completed last week. I just, I didn't have that luck luxury. I tried very hard. It just didn't work out. So we're opening our Great Vault in on Holy Spec. There's really no tank trickers that we want as a DK. And let's take a look at what we get in our Vault. Okay, here, here we go. We've got Hands, Hero Track Hands, which I mean, we can catalyze. They come with Leech. Not bad, not bad. We have uh, Plate Wrist. <laughs> Again, they come with leech, but we already have hero track list. What is going on with the leech right now? It's the same same risk we have, but that's two with leech. And the Mad Queen's Mandate. Oh my god. This trinket does a ton of damage. It's kind of if you guys remember Sarkaris Beacon from Beyond, this is kind of something similar to that. So that that is that is a very exciting item to have in your vault looking at what we get next we have a, a hero track chess piece from mythic plus but we already have that catalyzed we've got a hero track head which would be a significant upgrade of, over what we have now and then we also have the ace mastery legs i don't really want mastery so i'm not too worried about and then we have a couple items from tier one this is tier one delves is actually for just world activities these don't really matter but that's what we have down here so as fun as it would be taking this trinket i don't think it doesn't work for frost unholy or blood which is so unfortunate and some people would be very sad seeing this in me in here and me not taking it overall i don't really think we have anything that really calls our name we don't want haste on our gear so this is kind of useless the leech on here is nice but again it's it has leech so i'm thinking maybe we just upgrade our head and then that way a lot of guildies currently do not have their four piece so it might be beneficial for me to just take the head piece and take the upgrade from normal to hero track and then just kind of go from there so not the greatest vault on the dk but i think it's totally worth taking like i said i don't want more haste gear so even though we can catalyze this i don't want to lose the catalyst to something like this when i have a perfectly good headpiece here and then eventually i can get a socket for it so we're going to take the headpiece and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that that means our starting item level for week three will be 611.19 and our starting key is an eight grim batol and just a couple other characters we're gonna look at i did play my warrior we're not gonna really talk about what he did or how he feels for your that feels fine i believe all i did on him was some lfr and then i just flew around mainly farming stuff because i needed to get um mats to continue making my pots that is one thing i'm glad that i'm doing with him because it has saved me quite a bit of gold although i've had to buy some pots already so we're gonna open his vault in prod spec i believe he has two tier pieces i don't know where he got his hands but he got them somewhere um and taking a look at what we get we get a lfr shield and i think i love like yeah this is the transmog i absolutely love I think that looks so cool. Uh, we've got the trinket we already have, uh, which is a lower item level than what we have it at. And then we have 584 boots, which is really nice. And then we have a versatility trinket. So really nothing really crazy or fancy on the D on the, on the warrior. I honestly, I mainly am probably going to take this just so I don't have to keep running LFR. I want the transmog anyway. So, and he needs a shield. So we're going to take this from LFR, which gives us a pretty decent offhand and some really good looking transmog. Maybe we will build a transmog set around that. So that's what the warrior is getting today, bringing his item level up to 582.25 to start the week. And he has a two city of threads that we may run at some point. And next up, let's talk about the monk. Now the monk did a take a few keys. I did a five, four and a two or something. I, I only did three keys, but he felt a little scary. I can really feel the changes in the defensives being gone from monk. I don't know. It just, it felt a little different. I may need to practice him a little bit. Yes, I am in Windwalker spec. I did do a key in Wa Windwalker. It was a lot of fun. And we are actually going to open our vault in Windwalker spec. We were finishing last week at 584.81. So let's just kind of see what we get currently in our vault. And we got a back piece a hero track back piece which is a pretty good upgrade haste mastery you know what an upgrades an upgrade and on this monk we're gonna take it so that's what he gets out of his vault today and his five key to start the week will be a five stone vault and that we are moved up to 586.06 .06 item level all right, and one of the things I always talk about every week is our mount farming collection. So a couple of things we didn't get is we didn't get the Lurker from the Deeps this week. We didn't get Belladar from Hallowfall. And as always, we did not get the Underrot mount yet 
either. We are currently sitting at 424 attempts at underrot and still we have no mount so i'm going to continue to you know try to get the mount from underrot i think we'll be at probably near 450 attempts if we don't get it this week i'm really 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 hoping that that's not the case but yeah 424 attempts at underrot i mean at some point it's got to drop right right but on a sidebar with that since time walking has come around, let's talk about the mounts that we did get. First of all, let's start with this one right here. We have the Eclipse Dragon Hawk. This is from the Time Walking Burning Crusade vendor. It's just another one of the many hawks that you get from Burning Crusade. Nothing super crazy or spe special about it. I do like the colors on this one though, and I wish they kind of updated the model because I think it would look really cool if they did that. So that is one of the three mounts we actually got this week. And the other mount we got this week is the mecha suit, the diamond mech suit. This is directly from KSM. Not a bad looking mount. It's similar to the one you get from Gmod. Kind of cool. I actually like this mount. I will definitely favorite it and probably fry it around, especially when I'm herbing. I think this would be a cool mount to fly on. But yeah, really cool mount for this. This is what you get for the KSM achievement of getting 2k IO. And the last mount that we got that I didn't even know you could get, this one is actually from completing the five chapters of the main campaign in The War Within, and this is the Stalestone Ramolith. Did not know that this was a mount you could get, so if you're working on the chapters of the main campaign and you get to the very last one, this just appeared in my inventory when I finished it, so really cool mount. I do like it. The horns on it are amazing. I absolutely love how big they are. So this may be one I kind of like just play with, especially as a ground mount. It is favorited. And just touching base on some of the other things that we accomplished this week, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we were able to get KSM on our death knight and the guild I'm running with has in invoked their third raid day clause. So we are currently raiding three days a week, Monday being that third day. And on Monday, we went in to get heroic Queen Anserag in, in the hopes that we would get ahead of the curve. And sure enough, that is exactly what we did. We went in there. It took us uh, quite a few pulls, right? In total, I believe it was 48 pulls or something like that. Yeah, 48 pulls for us to get Queen Anserag down from when we first got there uh, pro the week before, because we did get some pulls in last week, to what we got down this week. 48 in total. The boss has gone down. We are now ahead of the curve gamers. It felt really good. I absolutely love the Queen Answer Egg fight. I think it's really cool. I've now done all of the heroic bosses. All of the heroic boss videos are available in a playlist. You'll see that at the top right of your screen. It will also be in the description down below. So check those out if you're interested. I've got every single boss with comms and everything so you can hear what's going on. Um, they all are from a tank point of view. So I'm very excited to have accomplished both of those things in one week and now really we continue to start our real push into mythic so let's kind of sit down and discuss what this week is looking like one thing that i absolutely have to do is i need to continue maintaining my death knight it i've noticed with my limited time and unfortunately because i'm pugging keys it's very hard for me to get the nine and ten keys that i need to get done to get the gilded crest so i can craft the 636 weapon i'm having a struggle with that right now so i'm really going to try to lean on the guild to kind of pull some members in so we can at least start doing nines across the board so that's definitely the plan for this week we're definitely going to push really really hard into the mythic plus landscape i want nines across the board with a couple tens i think it's doable if i can get another five or six item levels on the dk i think it'll be a much more smoother ride than it is right now and then also we get to start our push into mythic rating so we're gonna the goal is all grax and i'm assuming bloodbound horror this week which is completely doable those bosses definitely hit really hard we got some practice on them yesterday on monday so that is what we're planning to do on the death knight this week now with my other characters i'll probably poke away at some of them maybe do a some little key here a couple world events there i still need to figure out what second tank i really want to play i don't think monks it this season i wasn't feeling it when i do it was doing the keys something felt off and like something was missing guardian druid however feels really nice so between guardian druid and my warrior those are the two i'm kind of thinking about right now and then i want to do at least like a key on my mage to get some gear in the vault and i hope you guys have enjoyed the video like there's lots of descriptions down below for videos that you can check out it's all in the description down below so check out some of the other stuff i'd love to hear how your week is going whether you're reaching some of the goals that you want to do how your experience in pugging is going i may start a separate video stream 
series just talking about mythic plus and some of the challenges or frustrations that kind of come with doing these dungeons or the unique things that you could do to kind of get around trash or how to pull trash so that may be coming in the very near future i hope you are still enjoying the war within just as much as i am because i am still having a blast and i i don't know if you guys watch my live stream but during the live stream I'm, i say i'm gonna go do something i was going to get the tier i needed and then my adhd brain was like oh there's a world quest over here oh i gotta do this quest over here oh there's a flower anyway check it out i my my stream times are in the description below as well i hope you guys are having a fantastic week i hope you guys achieve everything you want to in the game thank you as always for watching i will see you guys on the next one peace out